Welcome to ACE Teachers Online, a series of tutorials for students. My name is Ashwin and today we'll be doing a mole calculation question. This is a mole calculation question worth four marks, where the first part is worth three and the second is worth just a single mark. It's a tricky question because it lures you into the trap of simply using the law of conservation of mass straight away. However, you need to calculate the excess moles of sodium hydroxide. Look at this question, we have three values given and that immediately throws us towards the law of conservation of mass where the mass of the reactants is equal to the mass of the products. However, before we simply do our subtraction to find the mass of X for part one, we need to consider that excess NaOH might be present and that some of it may not have reacted. So in order to confirm that or to find the uh, amount that hasn't reacted, what we need to do is find the moles of H2O and then find the moles of NaOH and then see if they match up in the corresponding molar ratio. So in order to do that, we first find the moles of water. And to do that, we use a simple molar calculation. Now that we've found the moles of water, we need to find the moles of NaOH and we use the same molar calculation as we have here. So as we can see here, we have an excess number of moles of NaOH. So now that means some of it hasn't reacted. And in order to use the law of conservation of mass, we need to find out how much has reacted, and then we can use our subtraction. So to do that, we know that 1.998 moles of NaOH has reacted. So then we simply just use a molar calculation to figure out the amount of mass that has reacted in this reaction. So now that we've found the mass of sodium hydroxide that has reacted, we simply use the law of conservation of mass to figure out the mass of X. So now after doing that, we've found that the mass of X is 90.07 grams. Now to move on to the second part, which is to determine the mass of ethanol, we need to simply find the moles of H2O, which we've already done, and then use a molar ratio to find the moles of ethanol, and then use a molar calculation to convert that to mass, which will give us the answer that we need. So now that we've figured out the mass of ethanol as 92.05 grams, that's the answer to our question. So if you want to check out our previous video, it's right here. Our next video is here, and if you want to check out our website, click the link below. My name's Ashwin, thank you for watching.